Hello Internet, my name's Adrian and I'm the owner of the Converted Van Company and today I'm going to show you this sweet van that we've been working on for the last few months. Um, it's our showpiece custom van for a really cool customer, so let's get straight to it. Okay, welcome inside this amazing 2020 four-wheel drive Sprinter. So the customer wanted a mobile conference room slash adventure vehicle. So at the back we've got a, a, a booth set up that's really comfortable for four people to be sat there with laptops having a meeting and we integrated some amazing storage space for skis and surfboards as well as the home comforts like heater, AC unit, uh, toilet, kitchen uh, and the ability to transport four passengers. So if we start from the front and work backwards um, I'll explain as we go what, what we've got here. So this van has the Mercedes factory uh, swivel seats, so both of these front seats can turn around and face the back, which opens up this front area hugely, and you can really sit four people comfortably up front. And I say four people, uh, normally this van only carries two, but we've actually added uh, some luggage track, so cargo track in the floor, uh, which allows you to clip in uh, two removable passenger seats in the back. So, that means you can take four people, or you can take them out and, and open this space up. The van's trying to talk to me. Um, what can I do for you? Make me a coffee? Okay, we're gonna just turn that off. Okay, so moving back into the middle section of the van here, um, on the passenger side, we have this custom kitchen galley. So it's a butcher block countertop with a, a flap up countertop extension. And we actually did this drop in butcher block um, sink protector uh, so you can either use that as a chopping board or uh, when you drop it into the sink it's an extended countertop space. So the fresh water system in this van is a 20 gallon tank uh, hidden in the rear garage area um, and we bring the services forward to the galley uh, and you'll see there's actually two faucets here. One is just for regular water so you can wash dishes and it's got like a spray, spray down nozzle. Uh, and the other faucet is actually a really cool feature. It's a, a Kuva uh, UV four-stage water filter. So you get you could fill up this tank with, you know, pond water, and be drinking fresh water out of this tap because it has a carbon filter and a UV filter built in. Also in the kitchen galley, down low, uh, we have the Dometic CRX 65 fridge, uh, which is an awesome fridge. We put them in all of our vans. Really great fridge. Uh, loads of space for food. Uh, and it has a freezer as well, so you can make ice or ice cream. Okay, so probably my favorite part of this van is just how much electrical stuff we've packed in here. This van is fully featured in terms of electrical stuff. So starting with the battery bank, we have a 300 amp hour lithium ion uh, Battleborn battery bank, which is enough to run everything in this van kind of indefinitely, particularly because we have 380 watts of solar on the roof which comes down and, and charges those batteries really well. In addition to that we have a 3000 watt inverter uh, and that's a Victron product um, and that just provides ample uh, household power to the whole van. So we have a total of four outlets in the van, uh, one above the sink here so if you wanted to use a blender you could uh, equally if you had four people having a meeting in here um, you could have everyone plugged in with their laptops no problem. Talking of laptops, we also have on the roof a WineGuard a 4G and Wi-Fi repeater and cellular capability. So you can put a SIM card in that and then beam Wi-Fi straight to your van so your meetings can be super fast Wi-Fi. That's just activated with this one switch up here. Other electrical stuff, we have obviously the, the regular 12 volt stuff so you can plug in phones uh, and be running that straight off your batteries. The, the lighting in this van, uh, we have LED park lights throughout the ceiling um, in two zones that you can dim. So the front section and the back section both have independent controls. Um, moving on to heating and cooling. This van has a really awesome product. It's above my head here. This is the Nomadic Cooling AC unit. And this thing absolutely rips. If you have this on maximum power, this van, you could get it down to 60 Fahrenheit in no time at all. And with the, the solar on the roof, um, you can actually keep this going on eco mode for say six, six, eight hours at a time with the battery bank we have in here. So even in the blazing sun, you can be keeping this van cool during the summer months. And then in the winter months, we have the S-Bar S2 D2L diesel heater. It's actually under the kitchen. 
Um, and that, uh, if you're not familiar with diesel heaters, um, takes diesel from the diesel tank of the vehicle, um, turns, uh, combusts, turns it into hot air, and you just get clean, warm, hot air coming into the van. And again, that heats this van up really quickly. Awesome product. Um, it's automatically adjusted for altitude. So if you go up to like a, a ski resort and you want to have a toasty van when you come back, this heater unit is going to do that for you. So moving on to the driver's side of the van, uh, over here behind this screen door is a toilet stall. We have the Nature's Head composting toilet down here. Awesome product, um, you know, very eco-friendly. Um, separates solids and liquids. I mean, you can find that, find this stuff out online how they work, but they're they're really great, and we really recommend them. Um, and of course, you've got this custom-built toilet stall, so you can do your business in private. That's about all we need to say about that. <laughs> and then moving into the back of the van is the the, the comfy spot. This is the the chill out area. It's the office. It's the bed. Um, yeah, it's it's the it's the booth. Come check it out. Welcome to the booth area at the back of this van. Um, as you can see, it's a super comfortable space. Uh, we have two huge tables, which makes this uh, kind of family style diner thing in the middle. So you can see you could comfortably seat six people here, maybe, maybe not six, four probably, um, and be doing meetings or having dinner, whatever. We've got actually two lagoon table uh, mounts which allow you to spin and rotate these tables any, any which way you want. Really, really convenient. It means you can like orientate them however's comfortable. Um, in fact, you can even take one of these out and move it to the front so you could have two separate areas. So you can have people at the front having a meeting or a kid playing over there. And then you could have another table here for you, know, you to work on. Other things we did in the back here, um, obviously you can see all of these uh, wall panels uh, custom upholstered by us. Um, it's wrapped in ultra leather, so you get this really nice, soft, warm feeling uh, wall panels. And then you'll notice these windows on both sides. These are the C.R. Lawrence half slider windows. Um, so that's awesome in the summer. You're going to be able to pop that open, click on up here with the roof fan and be drawing cool, you know, cool air straight through the van and have a really comfortable environment to do your work. So when you're done working for the night and it's time to wind down, uh, both of these tabletops actually come off the mounts and they drop into the center aisle. Uh, and both of the cushions on both sides slide into the middle and create almost a queen size bed platform. It's a really comfortable place to sleep. And that kind of wraps up what's inside the van, but there's plenty more going on outside. So I'm gonna pass you over to Chris and he's gonna show you everything out there. All right, guys, moving out to the back side of the van here. Um, when we received the van, it already had uh, the Alvan exterior um, door mounted tire rack and ladder. So you have access to your roof uh, if you choose to put a box up there or whatever. Alvans we really like, they make a great product. Uh, we have added onto the Alvan rack our very own uh, external ski rack. So as well as, as storage under the van um, for skis or surfboards or whatever, um, if you have extra people coming with you and need extra storage for your skis or snowboards, um, we've added uh, these Thule racks on the back here that are wonderful. Everything locks on, the Thule racks lock on, and the rack um, that we've made actually locks onto the Alvan's tire rack. Um, so the whole thing swings open, um, easy access, just clamp your stuff on and go. The other external work we've done on this van, uh, as Adrian mentioned earlier, up top we've got um, a whole bunch of solar power to keep us running all day, but as everybody knows, that only works when the sun's out. Um, if the sun's not out, it's a gloomy day, maybe you're up in the rainforest in the Pacific Northwest. Um, we also have a couple other ways of charging this van. Uh, we've got alternator charging coming from the front of the van uh, when the motor's on, but if you're parked and the motor's off. We also have the shore power unit here so you can plug into uh, your friend's house or if you're in an RV park um, and need power. Um, you can charge the van that way. Uh, the other external work we've done on this van is we've mounted these uh, Nerf bars. Um, as you can see, the van is quite tall. Uh, it is four wheel drive. It does have a lift on it. It does have big tires and wheels on it. So you needed an extra step. So we've got these uh, black anodized aluminum bars um, on the van so you can actually get in the van if you're a shorter person. Um, it's been a fantastic van for us to build. We're really excited about the Sprinter platform, especially the four-wheel drive ones. This one is really cool with a lift kit, four-wheel drive. It's ready to go anywhere. We're really excited for our customer to receive this van, and we're excited we got to work on it.
Okay, so that wraps up this van tour. A uh, big thank you to Chris that you saw just now. He was an absolute star on this build, um, really put in the hours, and I think it pays off. I certainly feel the most proud of this van out of all the vans that I've built. Um, if you want to know more about the Converted Van Company, um, you can follow the links below. You can see our website and see examples of our work. And uh, if you need a van, just get in touch.